Hi, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. I am going to do a hair and makeup, I'm not going to say tutorial because <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing, but a couple people have asked me because I do other videos, I do mostly fashion um, and style stuff that um, just how I do my makeup and my hair and so I'm just going to get ready for videos and doing that right after this so I thought I would film how I do that. So I have, I'm going to talk a little bit about my skincare and I'm going to talk about what I've put in my hair so far. My hair is all blow dried. I showered this morning. I'm going to get started with my skincare. So this morning, yeah, I showered like I said and um, I didn't wash my face in the shower. I actually used my exfoliator. All of my, all of my skincare that I've talked about is in um, a blog post, a couple blog posts that I've done, so I will link those below, but I'll quickly just talk about what I use. So I love this exfoliator. This is through MAC, and it's called the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. And then after I get out of the shower, I put on the Ordinary Buffet Serum, which is very moisturizing, actually. And then um, the eye cream, so the caffeine, the Ordinary Eye Cream, the caffeine serum. And then, add a moisturizer. So right now I'm really loving the Basha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. I'm doing something really light. I usually use the squalene oil from The Ordinary as well, but it's really heavy in the summer, so I'm really loving this. This has this really lovely revitalizing effect, so I highly recommend it. And then this is, um, I highly recommend it when you're feeling like really tired. <laughs> I'm a mom of two, so I often feel that way. Um, and for this is the Thermal Black Cleanser. So I got these as a sample through Sephora. So this is just a sample pack I think I got if you spend over like a certain amount. And this is a part of it. There's a whole bunch of other products and I absolutely love it. I think it's actually part of the rewards program. And this is the Thermal Black Cleanser and it warms up my face as it washes it. And um, yeah, the revitalizing one just feels like just tingly and lovely. So highly recommend those products. Those are what I'm doing right now. I have a uh, toner, the alcohol-free rose petal toner from Thayer's, and this is all the things that I've talked about in my blog post. So, link that below, along with some other products that I usually use in winter. And yeah, let's get going on my makeup. So the primer that I like to use is the Too Faced Hangover Three in One, and this is a replenishing primer and setting spray. So um, you can use it before, like um, before your makeup, in the middle of the day to kind of freshen you up and. Um, at the very end to set it. So this is my second bottle. I really like this stuff. I really wish it had SPF in it. I think that's the only thing that's missing. Um, so I usually, I usually do this really embarrassing cover up my hair while I put this on. So I'm just gonna do that normally now. Okay. Um, usually uh, I recommend closing your mouth for that part because that's gross. But I'm going to let that set in. I'm going to talk about the stuff right now um, that I use in my hair as that's setting. So I am really liking this Love Beauty and Planet shampoo and conditioner. My sister-in-law lives in Michigan and she got the... This is dripping because I just pulled it out of the shower. She got me travel size versions of this out of their like natural beauty box that you can have a subscription to. And um, I'm really, yeah, really liking it. It says calming definition for frizzy hair which I have, I have naturally curly hair, and um, yeah, I curl, I cur I straighten and then I curl it, so silly, but that's what I do. And then, um, so I use the shampoo and conditioner for that, and then right now I'm finishing up this Redken Frizz Dismiss. It is a leave-in smoothing control cream for coarse hair. I really like this one. I have another one from Bumble and Bumble that I like better. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't find it, but I will link that below. It comes in a blue bottle, um, but this one works really well too. And then I've been experimenting with using the Way Wave Spray to help keep my curl. Uh, jury's still out on that, but I really like it for when I let my curls air dry. It keeps um, them from being too like frizzy. And then the one thing that I really love, and I'm almost done, <laughs> you can see it's empty, is the Way Hair Oil. So I absolutely love this one. Someone told me that there's a rose version, so I love the smell of rose and I will definitely try that one out after this. This you can use before you blow dry and then after. I usually use it at the very end after I curled my hair and I just run this through my hair. So, all right, I'll get started on my foundation now that my setting spray is in. So right now I'm using a combination of the Marcel BB Cream. This is the anti-aging and has SPF 20 in it. I use the color light to medium. I get this at Shoppers Drug Mart. And then, um, 
I used it at Cosmetics. So this color is just a little bit too dark for me. I actually have this from a couple months ago in anticipation for my summer tan and I, I'm not dark enough yet. It's the middle of July. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty proud of myself for not tanning. I tan super well and then I just get weird tans all over like my chest and body. So I always try to cover up and put as much sunscreen on as possible to avoid that. But this is the um, CC Cream Illumination. So it's anti-aging hydration and hydrating serum and it's SPF 20. You can see that. So I just use, I use two pumps of this and then one pump of that to go in. And the coverage of the It Cosmetic is a lot thicker than the Marcel. This one is like my everyday natural, I'm just running out the door. I need some sort of sunscreen and like some color to even out my face. I have a mirror right here, so that's what I'm going to be looking at. Okay, and for concealers, I usually use just one, but today because I'm doing my video, I use um, a little bit more. I use more makeup during, like for videos than I do every day. Um, this is so dirty. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It's a full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. Everything is a mouthful. I can't talk to whether it's waterproof or not because I don't put makeup on and then go into the, the beach. Um, but I'll let you know if I ever discover that. And then this is the NARS. I love this stuff. I love the texture of it. The NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Canel, the color. So this is very true to my skin color. So I use that to even out under here. Um, kind of my t-zone and then this concealer is more like un like it said the under eye so it's just kind of brighten up um, under there And then for, I set it with um, a powder. So I usually use the Laura Mercier Brightening, but I ran out of this and I, I ran out of it and I have like this left over. So this is the All May Smart Shade. This is a lot thicker. So I prefer the L'Oreal, the Laura Mercier, um, but this will work just fine. I like to try and use up all my makeup. Um, so I just don't have like buckets of stuff I don't use in my closet. And it's loose powder. And so I uh, just throw it into the lid and then put on a light, a light dusting. I don't like anything too heavy because I just like um, more of a summer glow. So I still like to have a bit of a sheen um, and glow in my skin. Otherwise it just doesn't look like real skin, I think. At least that's how I feel about my own skin. I'm, I'm, in, I'm 32 and I feel like when you have glowy like glowy skin I feel I look a little bit younger I guess that's what I'm going for anyway so that's just how I prefer to look um this is my bronzer it's like all <laughs> sad I just dropped it the other day um but this is an old this is a newer version of it and it's the Rimmel Rimmel natural bronzer waterproofing waterproof bronzing powder you can see what that looks like newer this is a darker version of it and I haven't again I haven't gotten to it because I just haven't tanned Try it. I saw someone do, I think it was the August Diaries, Jill. Um, she puts, or no, I forget who it was, but anyway, um, they put some bronzer right here to look a little bit more sun kissed, and I think that's a really cute look and a good tip. If you want any other um, beauty bloggers who I really like, I actually like a lot of Canadians, so I like Jill Lansky of the August Diaries. Um, Estée Lalonde, who's Canadian, she lives in London right now, and then um, Alana Rama, who lives, I think, in Vancouver. She's such a cool, cool chick. So if you're looking for anyth anybody else who's definitely more experienced than me, um, I will have those girls, their uh, videos linked below. And then for blush, I use a combo right now for, for my videos, I usually just do, for every day, I usually just do Glossier, but for my videos, I do Glossier and then like a little bit of powder so I do the powder first and then the cream over top so it kind of stays a little bit longer 
So I'm gonna use, this is the Infallible Paints. I actually got this last summer and I really love the color of it. It's just like orangey and pink. So I basically stay in like the cooler pinks over here. And then I use one, I use this tart blush for it. Very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So I usually do that and then rub it in. I have a really tough time with powder brushes, powder, um, powder blushes, because I just don't know how to blend them in properly to my face. I really love Glossier's cloud paints for this. And I also love the finish of the, the paint. So right now I'm mixing Puff and Haze. I love these two colors, so I mix them. I saw them do a tutorial on Instagram where they mix their blushes, and I thought that was genius. I'm in between these colors right now, so this color doesn't show up as much on me anymore, but I love how cool it is, and then this color is still a little bit too dark, so I'm mixing everything together. I'm in that like weird mix between like my winter skin and like my summer skin, so that's what I'm trying to accommodate. I'm just a mixologist over here. And so I just squeeze them out, so I just have them mixed right there, like them together right now, and I'm just gonna mix them. And then it turns into this like really, really pretty, rosy, warm pink, which I like. So I just, I really love this combo, this pink, with a little bronzy. And then usually I don't have I don't have anything left over, but usually I'll just put it on my lips. Someone gave me that suggestion where they said that they've seen other bloggers do that. Um, not necessarily just with what's left over, but like just as like a quick, a quick stain. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I actually got my eyebrows microbladed, so they're a little bit more even, but um, I'm just not really in love with the look. I honestly would love my eyebrows to take up half of my forehead because I really love how that looks, but I don't think that's really possible given what I have right now. Um, and then I just have to like tint them to keep them as dark as I want. So they're pretty high maintenance and I've just never found a solution. So for now, I have them microbladed, but I fill them in with NYX. This is a NYX Professional Micro Eyebrow Pencil. It has like a little spoolie at that side and then this is like a very fine um, pencil tip. the glossy boy brow to like give it a little bit more of a jelly um, finish look I love this stuff I use it in brown okay. I usually give up at some point because I'm I don't know I can't I don't have all day to do it but uh, that's what, what my eyebrows look like I like them a lot better than how they naturally are and then um, Let's do eyeshadow, actually. This is the same thing. So I use the Stila Perfect Me, Perfect Hue Eye and Cheek Palette. So it has these colors and inside. I'll show you what it looks like. I love, love, love these colors. Um, I got it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm pretty sure you can get Stila at um, Sephora. But Shoppers has an exclusive color. So if you're Canadian, Shoppers Drug Mart is a Canadian drugstore. Um, and if you're at Shoppers, check out what they have too, because if they have a different selection, then that's always fun to look at. So the color I am putting on my eyes is Curious. So it's the base right here. After that, I use my favorite highlighter ever, the Living Luminizer by RMS. This is what that looks like. I just love this stuff. It lasts forever too. I use it all the time, like every day. And it's like, it looks like it's not even been touched. And it's organic, so win, win, win. So I usually do this um, on the inside of my eye after my eyeshadow to just brighten it up. You can see the difference. 
And then I, I like to use that right here to create a really pretty glowy look. I, I, between that and then the glossy has a nice stick luminizer too, but this one I just, I think it's just so nice. And I really love that it's um, natural. You can see how pretty that is. I've seen people do a highlighter there, which I think is really pretty. And then right there. So really pretty, dewy, shiny look. And then I just have this pencil eyeliner from Joe Fresh. Um, I think all pencil eyeliners are pretty similar, but this is in chocolate. And I'm going to just do this really quickly. I just line the very top of it. Um, and that's it. I just do a very thin line. You'll see that um, it's not anything fancy by the end of it, but I'm just gonna, I need two hands for this because it's, like it's like a this and a this and a this and I can't do that into the camera. So um, I'm gonna go do that and be right back and I guess you'll see the difference between now and then. <laughs> okay, and now I got my eyes lightly just lined on the top. Um, I don't do much on the bottom of my eye because I feel that it makes me look tired um, that's just my personal thing. I've always been like that even when I was like a teenager and like I could sleep a lot more. Um, but I'm just gonna do my mascara and it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I really want to try the Glossier Lash Slick, which looks amazing, but I just haven't gotten around to doing that. I don't use a curler or anything. I just add a little bit of curl to my eyes. I like I like a strong brow versus a strong eyelash. And then usually by this point my skin has gotten a little bit too shiny. I don't like it going shiny right here or on my chin. Um, so I add a little bit more powder. Um, but that's usually after I set everything. I almost, oh, last thing is Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. So I have it in Cosmic. This is just, um, I think this came as like a sample pack through Sephora. Again, I always love using their sample packs and like my rewards um, there. So this is, yeah, the Cosmic. This is kind of like a coral. It's a pretty color. I wish I knew how to line my lips properly because I think that would look really nice, but whenever I do, I look really fake and uh, I just don't like the look of it. And then it lasts two seconds anyway because I drink too much coffee. <laughs> um, okay, let's set this and then um, add a little bit more powder and then we're done. And I'm going to do my embarrassing cover my face thing again. <laughs> okay, and that is... Um, <clears throat> So that's pretty much dry and then I go in with just a smaller brush and like kind of spot where I want the shine to go away. I have rimples, as Wes's Dutch relatives call, on my forehead. Um, so I, I find that putting powder on them makes them a little bit less noticeable. There we go. I'm still, still a little bit glowy but enough like to the point where I like it, so. And that's the finished look. It's glowy and pink. <laughs> All right, now onto my hair. Okay, and now onto my hair. Um, like I said, I showered this morning and then I just blow dried it and tried to straighten as much as I could with just like a paddle brush I got. I think I got this from Walmart. Like it's not like anything fancy. My hair is naturally curly. Um, if I have a picture of it, I'll put it right here. Of what it normally looks like so this is as straight as I can get it with the redken cream which is why I love it and it is a little bit frizz free um, if you want to fight even more frizz what I would do like on those really humid summer days is I would just wash my hair and do this before bed sleep on it and then my hair is a little bit more calm the next day so what I'm going to use is a curling iron um, it is called ignite hair tools and that's just a straight barrel. I forget what 
size it is. Once I find the size, I will let you know and I'll put that down underneath. Yeah, and I just use a combination. I use it at uh, 450, so it's at the hottest setting, <laughs> which I find helps with curling. And yeah, I'll just get started. I just do a combination of two different kinds of curls, which you'll see, but I always tie my hair back. I always um, admire those women who can just curl their hair straight from here. I feel like I have too much hair for that for some reason. I just feel really disorganized if I try to do that and I lose track of what I've done and I miss things and it just looks really bad. So I usually tie it into this really attractive um, unicorn top knot, <laughs> I call it. So to uh, the curl I like, I like to wrap it around, um, but for my bottom ones, I find that pretty hard to do. So I just do that, I curl normally, and then I just hold it for a couple seconds and that's it. I usually, I always curl it the same way. I've tried tutorials where you curl it one way and curl it the other way, the opposite way, and that never, that just doesn't last like second day on me. So I just try to curl it to, I'll make it last as long as possible and then I just kind of leave it to sit like that a lot of I've seen some tutorials where people just like sit there and wait for it to get cool and I guess that's really effective but I just I don't have the time <laughs> to sit there and uh, and do that I'm just gonna do my whole bottom part like this and I'll talk to you in a bit <laughs> what those look like as they sit and then I just yeah do that the rest of my head I sometimes do a combination of when I wrap it around so I'll show you what that looks like now so when I'm wrapping it I take it from the base um, that looks really good and then I just wrap it like that and I find it's easiest to use my opposite hand and then I have the handle out so it gets as close as possible and then the goal is just not to bring yourself I release and the curl that's what that looks like and then if it's a little too straight at the bottom then I recurl it I will just do that all over my head right now this is what the curls look like can kind of see how pretty they are. I just try not to touch them um, until the very end when I put the oil in them. pretty much it. I'm just going to add some of my hair oil through it and uh, loosen the curls. I've seen some people brush them but if I brush them then they get too like they just lose all curls so I just like to brush it through a little bit. Touch it up a little bit just with my fingers not with a big brush. And that's it. Final hair and makeup. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And um, if you have any questions or if you have any tips, if you have your favorite products or your favorite way of doing things, um, I would love to have that below for other people too. It's nice to see what other people's favorite products are and hair tips and other beauty channels. That's actually really fun to know too. So um, have a good day and I'll see you next time.